I would now like to welcome onto the stage our first keynote speaker, His Excellency Sheikh Talal Al Khalid Al Sabah, the Chief Executive Officer of Kuwait Oil Tanker Company. I'm very grateful to him for agreeing to honor our conference with his participation. Many of you would have seen him acknowledged last night at the Maritime Standard Awards, where he was fittingly presented the Hall of Fame Award. He is one of the elite of the shipping industry and has, and has so, many, uh, so much knowledge about the tanker market especially. It was his idea, as we saw last night, to hold a competition to find the region's best cadet and to offer them employment with KOTC. It shows his commitment to the development of young people generally, but young people in shipping especially. May I please welcome you on stage, Sheikh Talal. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. It's our pleasure once again to participate in Maritime Standard Tanker, Tanker Conference. We are delighted to have such a large audience. I'm grateful to Trevor and his team for putting up this event, which has now become a regular picture on the calendar. You will, all, you will all agree that, obvious for obvious reasons, oil tanker industry has economic and strategic importance in this region. In comparison with most other sectors of the shipping market, this year tankers has seen an increase in activity in all the major routes, which to some extent may have balanced out the oversupply of tonnage in most areas. However, it would be a mistake to paint a rosy picture. That all is well. The steady supply of new builds and the continued presence of old ships is still a burden for Middle East Gulf markets, especially with the freight rates and the decline trend. Despite challenging times in the past few years and still continuing, KOTC has managed to keep its profitability above the average. This is due to our prudent effort in reducing operating expenses without affecting quality and the operation readiness of the fleet. KOTC continually invests in our most important resource, namely our human resource and training, to ensure that our sea staff is fit for purpose, is always on the top of our list of priorities. Yesterday, we awarded Mr. Asura from Sri Lanka with a contract of employment as a fifth engineer as he won the Cadet Employment Award of the Year. We welcome Mr. Asura to the KOTC fleet. I would like to address a few words about the present market and the future challenges, not just for KOTC, but for all operators. The sustainability of the tanker industry is a balancing act between economics, tanker safety, the environment, and the demand of our global society, which depends on the safe transportation of liquid energy for its way of life. Tanker operators cannot continue to operate and to reinvest in their fleets and the current freight rates. The issue tanker industry sustainability needs to be a topic of public conversation and all stakeholders need to be involved to remove desperation in the market to the benefit of everybody. Compliance with the new stricter environmental emissions regulations, although they are beneficial for the global community. Security risks are continuous challenge, piracy, terrorism, and of late cyber attacks using modern technology. These may appear to be great challenges, but I'm sure shipping industry being resilient will be overcome these and other challenges. Thank you for listening and hope you have a great conference. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sheikh Salal. Thank you.